This video shows you how to prepare Juno's IV system. Here's what you'll need. An empty IV bag with IV tubing connected. A 20 gauge IV catheter. Alcohol swab. Occlusive dressing. Extension tubing. A full IV bag with distilled water with IV tubing connected. A full IV bag with red distilled water IV tubing connected to simulate blood. An IV pole. A 140 milliliter syringe with lure lock filled with distilled water. There are two sites on Juno's left arm. Dorsum of the hand and antecubital fossa. Each IV site has an insert with a loop of tubing. The sites are filled and drained through tubing running from the IV site up to the left shoulder. To prepare the IV site for aspiration and flashback, identify the ports that prime and drain the chosen IV site on the left side of the mannequin. One tube will be for priming, the other for drainage. Connect the end of the draining port tubing to an IV tubing and empty IV bag. Fill an empty IV bag with water or water mixed with food coloring to simulate blood. Hang the filled IV bag from an IV pole near Juno's left shoulder. Connect the tubing from the filled IV bag to the appropriate prime port in Juno's left shoulder. Infuse fluid until fluid comes out of the drain tubing. This will prime the IV site for flashback and venipuncture. Before beginning the simulation, perform a venipuncture and confirm flashback to verify that the system has been prepared. Fluid and fluid medications can be administered intravenously at the IV site. Make sure the IV drain port is connected to the IV tubing and an empty IV bag. After the simulation has ended, drain the remaining fluid from the IV tubes in the left arm. If you used simulated blood, we recommend flushing the tubes using a syringe filled with clear distilled water. Disconnect the IV tubing from the IV prime port. Attach a syringe filled with clear distilled water to the appropriate IV prime port and infuse until clear fluid is coming from the IV drain tubing. Disconnect the syringe and fill the syringe with air. Flush the IV prime port with air until air is coming out of the IV drain tubing. Disconnect the syringe from the IV prime port. disconnect the IV tubing and bag from the IV drain port and replace the cap.